who journey to this newfound paradise, we welcome you. Indigo Park offers a slice of the American dream to call your own. In this place, echoes of days gone are brought back to life as a new generation captures a glimpse of the exciting potential of tomorrow. Indigo Park pays homage to the values, dreams, and unwavering truths that gave rise to our great nation. Here you embark on the journey of a lifetime, a place of creativity, joy, and fantasy, where your dreams are Good evening, fellow viewers. Today, we are playing Indigo Park. <laughs> so I'm changing up how I do the videos. I'm trying a, a new thing where I'm doing voiceovers instead of actually recording it with the video itself. I'm just trying this as a little test run. So I'm not gonna talk throughout the whole thing. There's gonna be gameplay and then just me talking. But for right now, Let's get to the gameplay. So, when I was actually playing this part, I thought it was weird that these cameras are following me around, and it wasn't up until Hi, right Bill, now. And welcome I realized to Indigo why. Park, the world's the most AI of this family park, I guess technically. Jump into the world of is still active. And First glitching out, apparently. I actually looked up how much this is. This is eight seconds. years. A pe person has been in this park for I'm eight rambling. years. I'm rambling. the raccoon. That's and it's my insane. job to make sure I don't know how, like, here at Indigo the Park power is the most of this park is still going Just hop on over to the registration years. center to your left. I like where that it's pretty to the right for your adventure in the park. The left. It's just, the, the advert of the game is actually, like, really good. Hi! I'm Rambly, so, Rambly the Raccoon, I actually and it's my job to make sure your experience here at Indigo Park is registered. Let me just get a good look at you. Be good look at you. Turns hmm. on the webcam right there. You seem to have your face in our guest list. But is this your first time here at the park, or did you just like get a, plastic like surgery? A Rambly Tuesday no ticket. It's thing. Rambly Tuesday. So you Tuesday. qualify for a I just noticed while recording that it says today is Saturday. I can't wait for you to see I everything Indigo Park has to offer. I didn't notice playing the game. So that guy confused me. And I thought it was Tuesday in the game. Until I realized that while well, doing recording and editing this. That it's actually Saturday in this game. And it's just very weird that he told me it was Tuesday. I don't know if he knows what day it is. Or if he's just trying to get me to head on into the entryway. just go into this park. I don't know why Hold this on. AI is basically is not letting open. me run there around free in this park being sent from the while also power watching unit. the cameras. Lucky you! I, I don't know why. You get to be the first person to try our turn on the generator mini rambling venture. Have fun! The indigo Hi, me again. I just like to butt in real quick and just say Looks that like a piece. the sound Can design of this game is actually really good. Like, there hasn't been any, like, creatures or anything trying to attack me yet, but all this, like, like I, don't, I don't know how to explain it, but, like, just eerie sounds going on is really making the, the game, like, intense. For me, I don't know why, but just the way like the park seems abandoned. It's been abandoned for eight years, 
So it's just really interesting. I also took a look at these posters, it's like the Molly crowd. Try, I tried to see what was going on back there. And I also noticed the, the floor poster, which is Ramley's like railroad train station or something like that. And I heard the theme song and that scared me because <laughs> I didn't know where it was coming from. So I thought I was going to okay. be like For attacked or something. Welcome to Indigo Park. The gates open and the, the place seems pretty chill and calm at the start, except being kind of a little bit eerie. But so far, this game has been pretty good. We'll see you later on, obviously. Oh, silly Rambly. Every guest needs a critter cuff. That will allow you access to reserve areas, charge payments to your room, and wear a critter cuff. I think there's some in the gift shop. Head in there and I'll get you set up. So, I just wanted to talk to this. What I think was funny about the gift shop is it actually looks like there's real merch for this game based off those two posters, but didn't realize until after I picked up the critter, the critter cuff, whatever go, it was buddy. called, that I went the wrong cuff, way, a new way and to I did not the follow the arrows. I wonder why, as a pedometer, like, I couldn't fully go and over there, data and I went to go pick up the uh, cuff, and I was wondering why I was being blocked by like a wall. But it's because I went the wrong way, and I didn't realize it until I, I actually picked it up. And I think it was, was just also interesting. Is, as you can you see right here, where I figured out that I went the wrong way. And I was going to go over uh -oh. there. Oh, the door there. mysteriously then, locked. I don't why know not why. Test out your band and save he decided the day. he was just going to lock the door for fun. But I was just, I was exploring a little bit, and I saw these like key chains. Uh, I looked at them, and I've only seen a bits and pieces of the game. But that character on the far left, that like purple, like kind of looks like a fox, but I guess it's actually a skunk actually caught my eye because I have not seen that character. The only one I've seen was the bird and the lion. I, I didn't see the other two, but the skunk really caught my eye the most because it, it had a, it, it, it looked familiar to like the like the, Hooray! the FNAF Great characters. Work, buddy. Now try entering the park what it, what and it we looks can like start our Indigo Adventure. Is the game seems to kind of relate to FNAF a little bit. It kind of feels like it's on par with like security breach for a little bit like it kind of has the same vibe as security breach except this game <laughs> at the start already is running better than security breach this game's not even fully out yet and it's already starting to run better and just work a lot better and obviously it doesn't have the production value of security breach but for being a passion project, it looks pretty good and actually is a pretty nice game. I have to say so myself. But I was at this point noticing all the cameras were actually starting to follow me. Like the AI, I, I think it's the AI of the park is actually following me. Uh, when I was recording the actual gameplay itself, I was like, what the freak? <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to say freak, but I'd say I'm, I was like, what the hell? Why did that just cave in behind me? I'm now stuck over here. And classic video game tradition is you look through the bathrooms and see what you can find. And I don't know why, but in every video game, you never find anything in the men's room, but you always find something in the women's room. In this case, it was a, uh, yeah, the uh, action figure. That's what it was. Pick up the action figure, and that's about it. Rambly, ram, ramble, ram, rambly, I think is what it's called. He's going to be talking here in a second. There's another look at the uh, train photo. That's new, the, the Finley. They'll see the... But I noticed that there's two cameras in here too that looked at, like, were, they were dead on me. Like, there's a far camera. Our desk, camera. Buddy. Looks like and the park he is says going stuff through about some renovations. renovations. For the inconvenience, your rambly Tuesday discount will be free. So, so, so Why not Tuesday celebrate again. this great deal with a ride on my railroad? And to test and your sleuthing skills, I'll let you find this one this. all by yourself. 
And this, I can quote you exactly what I said when I was recording this. I was like, wow, that was hard to find. I just quoted that. I, I could have been recording that and you wouldn't even know. But upcoming now the is the famous you may be a thing we've seen all around TikTok. Audience for this ride. Yeah, but it's one of my this. favorites. Do you know why Rambly the raccoon loves Rambly's railroad? Because I like trains. Welcome to Rambly's Railroad. I'm Conductor Rambly. <laughs> oh look, it's Molly McCaw. It's Molly McCaw, the greatest pilot you ever saw. Like normal video sure confusion. Why, you I was too focused on what the characters were saying. And I didn't even notice that Macaw was over there until the door <laughs> closed. It was generally scary for me because it was the first thing out of the ordinary that I saw with this game. And obviously it was part of the game, but it was supposed to be a little scary. Now, this character introduction, like section that's going on, is weird, but actually kind of cool at the same time. Supposed to give you like a friendly introduction to the characters while also kind of being scary and I didn't know what I was in it just looked like a dark like black room but I guess it's supposed to be for like the uh, oh, train, train ride Come on out and, greet the and people. this guy's Bye, voice Ray. does not fit the what character long face and body and that's what I'm you saying you know me for 100 years now, the so you've known me for 100 years will come long very important later in this video. And if oh, I hopefully Finley, remember to talk about it, I will. But How about you? the chat between these step. two My ride was definitely Oceanic interesting. Odyssey. We'll teach I'm you all you about the stuff. wonders down under the deep blue sea. It's as blue as me. Uh, I hope you'll visit. I'm so lonely. I can talk about this really quick. So, I didn't notice this, but when he says close for repairs, there's a voice behind me that also says close for repairs, and it sounds like Macaw. I didn't realize this until now, and I'm even more freaked out now, and I'm just editing this. Now, as a tech guy and also kind of an audio guy, the uh, glitching rambly is definitely interesting. And when I was originally playing the game, it sounds like he's just glitching out. But when I listen to it more now, it sounds like he's saying something backwards. Now, I'm gonna reverse this while editing. And if I notice anything, I'll tell you guys. If not, I'll tell you. This scared me. So, she's saying he hurts Lloyd, and some other stuff I have to go through it again. But it's very interesting. So, we'll just continue on with this now. So I reversed this as you can hear right now and this actually gave me spines on my back listening to what I was hearing. Now you can kind of hear him saying Rambly Rambly the raccoon but it's when the bird Molly I think her name is we heard her say something when we were going there but listen to it in reverse and it gave me chills on my spine from what I heard just listen to this. He kills. 
that gave me chills. And it did again. She says he kills. I have so much chills on the end of these ones. I'm sick from her saying he kills. Because after playing the game, I know what happens. So I'm now generally curious about Randy now. I'm scared. With that common folk name, I am the proud, the prestigious, the professional Lloydford L. Lion, actor extraordinaire! Great act, Lloyd. Of course it was! I'm the real star! So, what do you think? Pretty fun, right? Now you know all about my friends and Lloyd. So, where do you want to go? So, after hearing Molly behind me on the train yard, this is even more terrifying now. That there is a photo of her on the train tracks while I'm on there. So, seeing that and then also hearing her repeat something that she heard while behind me, even more freaky. I wish I got more um, video of that roller coaster because I actually really like roller coasters. I don't know why, but colorful ro roller coasters in the sky. This here is just... an information kiosk. I don't if there's know. I, I fall around the park you want to ask me about. Just stop by here and I'll ramble on about it. Well, look at that. You're at Jetstream Junction. Oops. Looks like Jetstream Junction's being tuned up. Last I checked, there's a security office in the back of the theater. Maybe a friendly wrangler can help you get in! Let me just talk to this for this for a little bit. This made me die laughing. So I was reading these drinks, names and all that, and we got Bird Up, Kohler, Uh Soda, Dr. Moncher, Kohler, Water, and Diet Water. I don't know why that just made me laugh when I when I was reading it itself. But um, this was interesting. Seeing the uh, lying on the ground, I thought it was like a prop when I was walking in here. Up until this point, yeah, uh, I did not want to go back there, and I was having a fit at to uh, Rambly when I was playing the game. I don't remember exactly what I said, but you know. That's just what happens when you record a video and then do do the this because hey, I didn't take notes. Eyes all over the park, but and I can't see anything I'm going to talk about what he just there, said a little later not on. Able to resuscitate you. And I'm going to repeat what I said when I was recording. Resuscitate. I'm pretty sure that means to bring back to life. To do like CPR and all that. I was so worried when I heard that. But then my worries went away when I started, when I found this piano and started jamming out. So, we're all good now. Let me just tell you right now, when I heard that, I actually froze. Now, I thought that was the lion that was talking, and this is at the point where I saw the lion and backed up, did not realizing that that was Macaw that I heard. Now I realize that, but that's freaky. But what I'm also upset at Rambly about is I see that camera right there that can see me. I know it can't see, it probably can't see all the way back, but it can see me, so it can see some of it. Now, 
This actually scared me. I I don't know why, but Lloyd, I think yeah, Lloyd just running out there and jumping at me almost attacking me it was actually scary. And when I heard these footsteps, I actually tried to hide under the desk, thinking I needed to hide. And I saw something in the, in the glass and thought it was uh, him. But that those electrical cables down there is the real threat. <laughs> that is a fire hazard just waiting right there. I thought I saw something right there, so I looked right there. But all you hear is thump, 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 thump. And it is terrifying. Like, like, I, I'm gonna say this again when I, when I was recording this bit. I haven't been, like, this scared in a minute. Like, I'm used to, like, FNAF games or, like, other horror games where I've played them before. I have not played this game at all or watched any gameplay of it. I just went straight into it. And I have to say, it felt so good being scared. Once again, it was so nice feeling scared. And this is an interesting part right here. That was so scary. Now, I'm gonna guess the critter watch is what drove him away. But I just wanna say, did you guys see how jacked my dude's arm is? Oh my god, this guy hits the gym like every day. That's crazy. Say, why don't you check out Molly's Rooftop Races? It's not far from here, and it's a great warm-up before we get into the bigger rides. Just take it up at Molly's Landing Pad. to the right again. Don't worry though, your pal Rambly has the repairman on speed dial. We're sorry. The number you have dialed has been disconnected or is no longer in service. Please check the number and dial again. Uh, say, why don't you check out Molly's landing pad? It's not far from here, and it's a great cooldown after that exhilarating ride. Just take a down from Molly's rooftop races.
I, I'm just gonna be honest. I loved the uh, like 2D pixel art, kind of like uh, an old Sonic type game reference. I actually loved that a lot. That was actually really fun. Uh, interesting, we got a little bit more of, I think her name was Salem or something like that. That was interesting. I like that <laughs> when you, when was like, whoa, you can go away. He's like, nah. Was, nah. And I, it, it looks like she's supposed to be like the bad guy of the crew. But I don't know. Obviously, in like game lore and all that stuff, she's like the bad guy, but who knows in the actual game. Later on in the chapters, she might help us, or we might get separated from Rambly, and she might help us. This... This freaked me out so much. Like, the whole game is still freaking me out, but the fact that just opening that star... Just shut all the lights off, turn the music down, and that was it. And now, here we actually kind of see McCall more. When I heard that trampoline sound, I didn't know what it was until later on. Now, this slide is an interesting thing. I turned this light off, turned it back on, luckily. She's just chilling right there. Now, I don't know what would have happened if I continued walking up. And I didn't want to find out. So I didn't. So I backed down the slide and continued on with my day. Now, when I did this puzzle, I actually didn't know what the yellow one was. I got the, I think it was the blue, yeah, blue, green, red. I could not, I didn't know what the yellow one was. I had to guess on the yellow one. But probably what I personally think is the best part of this game is this upcoming scene. And I'll just let you guys listen to it completely. <laughs> Remember when I said a while ago about the 100 years? And you also read down there where it says Molly can repeat words she said? Yeah, so all those times where we kind of heard double of stuff like hey buddy or clothes for repairs or 100 years, we were hearing her say that. So that's freaky knowing that she kind of repeats everything she hears. But now, since I'm not going to mistakenly go into a tunnel with them, we're now fully listening Thank you. 
Remember when we also reversed the audio and, and she said he kills? Here we yeah. Have plenty of amenities so uh, he kills, okay. which is interesting. I can see in your facial. Also glad this is the part upset. where he actually he's like he's an important part of our breaks his character and park, just so tells us what's going on. Like we haven't already something. figured that out. He's been inactive for years. Employees stop showing up. Guests too. The mascot, sir. I just was so excited to see a visitor, and I wanted to be sure you were given the best experience possible. But I was confined to the entrance for so long, I didn't realize just how much disrepair the park has fallen into. I'm wasting all of your fun time. Eh, sorry for the inconvenience. But, but, I have an idea. I have access to the repair documentation in my database. I just can't execute most tasks without authorization from a human user. You must have come here because the park matters to you too, right? Would you be willing to help me restore the park? I can see in your facial tracking data that you aren't opposed to this. Ooh, I'm so excited. Let's get this place back in business. Okay, welcome to the crew, Rookie Wrangler. Register. Your first official job as one of Rambley's Wranglers. Register. Is to get out of the Rambley's Wranglers. Register. Room. Head left towards the Rookie Wrangler Register security room to set yourself free! Phew, kind of exhausting to say that whole spiel. But Rambley's Wrangler's Register is a registered trademark! <laughs> that expired yesterday. Whoa, where'd you get that? Rambleberries are my favorite! Oh, if only I could jump out of the screen and take a big bite! Don't eat it! Maybe I'll be able to one day! to Oceanic Odyssey! You're doing a great job, Rookie Wrangler! You'll find a potpourri of porpoises, pickles, and perches as far as the eye can see. But please don't tap the glass. You never really know what lies beneath the surface. While the song is playing, I just want to talk about this. Okay? So, as far as what I played from this game, it is really good. I actually, this game is really good. Now, for me personally, what I think is, Rambly is very questionable on what he's putting us through. I'm, I'm very, I'm questioning him a lot. Now, I pray that his intentions are always are going to be on the good side. But it's hard to tell. Now, this song is a, a banger. This is a really good song. But I personally think that this game is really good. And anyone who hasn't played this game should definitely play it and support it. Now, if I remember how to do it, and hopefully I will. I'm going to... If these guys have a Patreon, link it down below. The channel is a lot of Because I would love to see this game finished. And I bet a lot of other people would love to see this game finished. So, I'm going to do... Is I'm going to give you guys the access to people to find the creators and Patreon. And all that stuff. If you want to keep going. Oh, idea. So, I, know all of this I thank you guys for watching. You. It's an Please let me know in the comments if you guys kind of like this new way of doing these videos. I kind of like it too, because this allows me to watch the video while I'm doing this voiceover, so I can figure out stuff that might be like, oh, I can do some funny here, or I can, like, oh, I can take this part out. So I can, it's it's a nice way to do the, uh, like, a, like a review of the video. At least I hope I do. But I thank you guys for watching, and I'll let you guys finish the song. See you guys in the next video. I'm going to be streaming the game shortly. I'm not sure when, but I will be streaming this game again. See you guys later. Given a spark of sunshine to this kingdom's faithful devotee.
Pika Park More than my remarks are mysteries Even I don't know what we might find But fight through the dark And I'll be your spark of sunshine To get you out of any bind Tell all my old friends are united again And I won't feel so left behind Okay, I'll let you go. See you next time, buddy. Please?